name's Kent Calderon. I served in the Harris Reconnaissance Battalion in Dallas. Back to this example. For those of us here who are currently buried, for those who have at some time worn the Marine Corps uniform, no translation is needed. Leadership by example is an ethos that is ingrained in all of us from the very first day of our journey. It is a conviction that in order to effectively lead, one's attitude and actions must both be a model for others to emulate. It is behavior that provides inspiration. It is conduct that is above reproach at all times. In practice, leadership by example manifests itself in a multitude of ways. It is invoking a moral precedent to make the right decision when others are not watching. It is having the patience to be fair. In the case of First Lieutenant Travis Manning, it is having the courage to repeatedly expose oneself to insurgent gunfire in order to save the lives of his comrades. We are here today to honor the actions and sacrifice of First Lieutenant Travis Manning. Travis was tragically killed over a year and a half ago in the Andalus district of Fallujah, where for weeks he and the fellow Marines of his MIT, along with Iraqi soldiers, had battled determined insurgents. It is no secret now that Travis set a ferocious precedent of what it means to lead by example. Our gathering here today is tribute to this fact. Despite the pain caused by his absence, we all can and should celebrate his actions as the attainment of the ultimate tier of leadership that each and every one of us here in some capacity aspires to. The narrative for these awards read as a bibliography of a resolute modern day warrior who could not in any way be deterred. That is not to say Travis operated unaware of the possible consequences of participating in war. He was not reckless. What he was, or rather what he possessed that makes him so unique, such an exemplary leader, was an unbreakable inner strength and the recognition that he could call this inner strength to act even in the most extreme circumstances. There's not a single day of operations this behavior did not have a positive, unmistakable impact on the various activities he and his unit conducted. Regardless of the situation, Travis was at the forefront of the action, chasing suspected insurgents down city streets, administering first aid to badly wounded Marines, or just directly exposing himself to the innumerable hazards to ensure the security of his team following a catastrophic IED attack. The list goes on. He believed entirely in the mission, dedicated himself to its accomplishment, and acted selflessly at great risk and in the best interest of those that surrounded him to accomplish it. This behavior, this precedent for personal conduct in combat, was infectious. Fellow members of Travis's team with whom I have corresponded become visibly pensive, at times even seemingly awestruck as they reflect on the manner in which Travis conducted himself while in Fallujah. In short, he inspired. He inspired not only his fellow Marines, but the Iraqis with whom he fought as well. As previously mentioned, Combat Outpost Manning is an Iraqi army facility that was named in Travis's honor following his death. A picture of Travis hanged as a memoriam in the outpost to focus the soldiers, to remind them of the ultimate sacrifice that was made by a man who was unwilling to accept failure for the mission, for his peers, and for himself. Travis's family is today receiving both the Silver Star and Bronze Star of Combat Distinguishing Device. They are awarded as our nation's tribute to his valor, resolution, and personal sacrifice. They are acute symbols of the unselfish lives that a true leader is willing to go to accomplish a mission. Travis's action during the weeks leading up to and on the day of his unfortunate death will forever define the true embodiment of what it means to lead by example. It is this reflection that can provide us all perspective on the manner in which each and every one of us face the challenges that we have in our daily lives. As individuals, as leaders, we can drive energy from the strength Travis possessed. We can find new limits to our own resolve by remembering his infinite determination. We can measure our own level of commitment to the ultimate price that Travis paid for something that he deeply believed in. Even though he is gone, the medals of Travis's family are being presented with today indicate he is still setting the example. They are tokens of the courage, commitment, and honor of a true leader. I'll be followed by Major Joel Cooper.